see. Web 45.4. Oh my gosh! Awesome. Okay. Nice job. Yep. Almost there. Yes. Got a little bit, about a pound and a half to go, and yeah, about a week. <laughs> okay. So. I know you can do it. Okay. You just gotta really stick to the diet. So we're gonna dial it in, clean it up even more, go very basic and plain with okay. what you're eating. Okay, I know it's gonna be a little boring dull for <laughs> <laughs> But I wanna keep it super simple, okay. low carb, high protein, higher fat to make yeah. up the fat will help give energy and replacement okay. of the carbohydrates. So okay. breakfast, just do something basic like a couple of eggs with some spinach and tomatoes, just okay. kind of a scramble. Okay. When you get to a snack time, handful of almonds, you know, maybe like an ounce of almonds. You can do a couple of rice cakes and peanut butter, or almond butter. Okay. Lunch time, it's do about three ounces of chicken or fish. Okay. And you can either put that on some greens with a little bit of olive oil and lemon, or you can do a side of something like broccoli or cauliflower. You can do rice cauliflower, so it's kind of like rice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle on like coconut aminos. I don't know if you've used those before. No, they are. Mm. It's kind of like a soy sauce. It's kind of like soy sauce. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but I think it tastes better, uh -huh. and it's a lot less sodium. Okay. Coconut. So you can amino. do something like that. Mm -hmm. You can use condiments like. Mustard, Mustard, sriracha, most hot sauces add mm -hmm. a little flavor so it's not totally boring. Okay. Use a lot of spices when you cook. Yeah. You can drizzle olive oil or something on there too, okay. coconut oil. And so then when you get to dinner, basically repeat salmon, white fish, chicken. chicken. You can do lean ground turkey too. Okay. And just do it with something like asparagus or broccoli. Um, asparagus kind of helps uh, dehydrate your body just a little, or get rid of oh. water, not dehydrate, oh, okay. but it kind of helps excrete water from your body. So. Yeah. Just stick with greens. Do a lot okay. of green vegetables and meat. Top it with, you can do avocado, you can do olive oil, yeah. coconut oil, things like that. But keep it pretty simple and clean. Don't use a whole lot of sodium. Try and use salt-free seasonings, okay. herbs, hot sauces, things like that to keep it interesting. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit dull, I know, for the next week, right? You know, and but a it's, half or whatever, yeah. but it's a week it's, and a half. Yeah, totally doable. Yeah. Stay away from alcohol. Okay. Drink a ton of water. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just keep your food super clean and basic. You can do hard boiled eggs for snacks. Um, you can do, if you want to do like, like a little bit of deli meat or something like that, you could do that, but okay. just don't overdo it because of the sodium. Right. But just try and keep it super clean, clean. simple, organic okay. vegetables and protein. Okay. <laughs> About all you get for the next okay. week, but it'll work. <laughs> it'll okay. Help. Stay right. away from fruits too. Yeah. For yeah. Now just go ahead and cut out. Any Anything sugar, sugar, yeah, and include okay. fruit in there. Okay. If you're dying, you can do some berries or something. That's okay. totally fine. But for the most part, I would just stick away from it because it's only a week to go. Yeah. You know? So just keep things super simple. Get rid of sugars and processed anything. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's do your measurements. Okay. Find out where you're kind of ending up on this journey. I'm ready. All right. We're at 35.25. It's pretty good. Not bad Point at all. Two. 33. 33. What did I start at? 35 and a half. Nice. We're at 41 and a half. 41 and a half from? From 44. Oh, wow. Yeah. 11.25. Oh. So everything has gone be... down quite a bit. Yeah. Awesome. Oh. Just multiple inches off your entire body. Yeah. Which is very obvious. It's yeah. clear to see. Oh yeah. And we are ending at about let me show you place. 23 and a half. Alright, so you are at 25.6% body fat. Which oh, is amazing. My goodness. That's awesome. I don't think Down I've ever been. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been that low before. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, which is awesome because yeah. it also shows you it's not like you're just losing muscle and water and stuff. Uh -huh. Like you're maintaining muscle and losing fat. Yeah. Which is the most important part. Yeah. So nice. Good job. job. Yay. All right. <laughs> so awesome. that's it. You have one more week on your wedding day. Yeah. I know you'll be at 144. Yeah. It's great motivation. To, it's working. Yes, so it keep is. doing it. Exactly. Yeah. So as a reward for all of your hard work and to celebrate your upcoming wedding and your honeymoon, uh, the company Hips and Curves has sent a bunch of really cool lingerie for you. Wow. Um, yeah, and they are all about 
celebrating like a full figure and a full body and hips and curves, hence their name. Um, the beauty isn't just about being a certain size, but that every woman should feel comfortable in her body, right. um, which is great. You know, you're just talking about how you now feel more comfortable in your skin. And right. I think it's a really good reminder that this whole thing is not just about you becoming a size four or a size two or, right. you know, um, but really learning to love your body and lo love who you are. Because even if you get down to a size zero and you don't love yourself and love your body, yeah. you're still not gonna be happy. Happy, you know um, so this is just kind of a really cool celebration of what you've accomplished but also just who you are and what you look like with hips and with curves and no matter what size weight you're at right um, so yeah Very just a cool. fun cool present to kind of end out this journey with oh, so go oh, ahead and you. check them out oh. hashtag be fully you I love that we have. Love it. Thank you so much, Hips and Curves. This is great. You guys really hooked me up. All right, so we're going to go back and kind of look at what your fitness was like when we started when this we started. whole journey. So that later when we work out today, we can compare your first time versus how you are now. Right. So, the first time you did push-ups, this ended up at about 13, just barely 13, but you were right. on your knees. Right. I know we've progressed since then right. to on your toes. So when we did squat to press, it was actually pretty good, but we we're using the bench there. Right. Um, we did about 12 reps. Mm -hmm. So those were good, but I know now we've totally gotten rid of bench. There's no need for that anymore because yeah. you're, you're good with your form and your leg strength has improved. Russian twists we did. We did those with your girlfriends, actually. We did yeah. about 20 reps of those, but we were only using four pounds. Mm -hmm. And they've gotten a lot stronger and you can do more weight than that. Yeah. Reverse lunges, we did that with a weight overhead, holding about a 10 pound plate. Right. Um, holding that up. And that was about 10 reps on each leg. Okay. And then burpees, um, which we didn't show as often, but we were doing about eight burpees, which is pretty right. tough. But now I know we've been doing at least 10 and multiple sets of those. Yeah. So that's where you started out from. So today we'll go test, we'll see where do I'm a workout at. and kind of test all these things and see where you've come and how much right. stronger you've gotten. Okay. All right, so we know your weight's come down. Now let's test your fitness and okay. see how much stronger you've gotten, where your fitness level is at. Okay. So we're gonna start with the plank, just like we talked about back at the house. Plank is the first one. First time you did it for 36 seconds. So. Let's time and see how hold, how long you can hold it this time. Nice job. That was a minute and 10 seconds. <laughs> Way better than 36 seconds. <laughs> Not bad at all. All right. You're already down the position you need to be. We're gonna go to push-ups. So the first time you did them on your knees, 13. However, bring your legs out this way this time because I know you can do them off of your knees now. So you wanna get where your hands are a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. Good job, core tight. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Let's see how many you can do on your toes. It was 16. I miscounted. It was 16. <laughs> nice job. That's impressive. There are not a lot of women who can do 16 push-ups on their toes. That was sweet. You've gotten much stronger in the arms and chest. All right, third exercise, squat to press. So the first time we did it, we used those 12 pound weights just to kind of test you out. So we're gonna use those again. Last time we did 12 reps of each. So we're gonna go way beyond 12. We're gonna see how many you can do of these. All right, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now it's a little bit heavy. All right, so feet a little bit wider than shoulder distance. Eleven. Good job, keep going. The difference is the first time we did this to the bench, so you got to rest in between. You were sitting down on that bench back there. That's a different size, a lot more. Oh my God. Nice job, good, go ahead and drop those. Alrighty, next exercise, you ready to go? We're gonna do Russian twists. You're gonna go back down to the mat. 
The first time we did this, we were using a six pound ball. Oh. Right? So this time, get the 12 pounder and you're gonna do at least 20 reps, meaning one, two, three, every time is gonna count as one. Okay. <laughs> 26. I tried it, I was like resting my elbows. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I think your core's pretty worn out. Nice job. Six more reps in the first time. Double the weight. And double the weight. Not bad at all. Definitely seeing your core is strengthened a heck of a lot. All right, go ahead and stand up again. I'm going to use a 10 pound plate. Up overhead. And then you're stepping back down both legs at 90 degrees, and then back up, and then switch legs. All right, first time we did 10 reps on each leg. Let's see what you can do this time. Nice job. That's 30 whole <laughs> difficult reps of lunges. That's impressive. Burpees. So here we go, burpees. Last one, see how many you can Favorite. do. Fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. All right. Nice job on your almost final workout. Yeah. So, um, yeah, do remember, like, regardless of what weight you end up at, although I know you're going to get to 144, like, this is super important. The fact that you've gotten a lot stronger, yeah. like, you're not just losing weight by muscle or by doing yeah. anything drastic you know like you're getting stronger and a lot more fit at the same time yeah. so that's super important part of this whole journey is that you're actually getting healthier and yeah. not just skinnier yeah. although you are getting way skinnier which is awesome know, you look I'm amazing very <laughs> lean so it's it's a good feeling yeah, yeah i bet good yeah you should be proud of yeah. what you've accomplished and now we have about a week left to get your weight down to 144 yeah. or below so just make sure keep working out with this intensity get in all of your workouts eat super clean you got a week to get the weight down yeah. so do everything you can now work super hard you're almost there it's the almost done it's yes. so close <laughs> so far away i know all right Wait, awesome job keep time. it up this week thanks thank you so much for watching this whole journey be sure to stick around till the end of this episode to find out if you won any of the previous giveaways in our other episodes we'll list your name the prize you won and how to contact us to go about getting that prize and be sure to watch the whole rest of this episode to see it all come to an end, see if Diane reaches her goal, and get a little glimpse at her wedding to close out this whole fit for wedding journey. I've definitely seen changes in my body. I feel a lot slimmer and tighter. I'm, I don't feel that excess weight that I'm lugging around anymore. Like, it feels great. Um, what's also amazing or even better is that I actually have definition and I can see that clearly. Um, you know, I definitely, when I look down or I'm lifting something and I see my muscles in my arms, like, oh, well that's nice. <laughs> you know, so it's, um, I definitely see the changes and it feels great. So my eating habits have changed significantly. Portion control has, is different. I'm eating a lot smaller portions now. My fitness pal and logging all of that information has definitely helped put, you know, the different types of foods that I'm choosing into perspective and how much each food is in calories and the macronutrients that play into it. So the fat and the, the carbohydrates and the protein amounts. So I'm making better decisions and the portions a lot better. I remember the first fitness assessment. I was struggling, severely struggling. Now, I mean, you know, I'll have some days where I'll, I'll be complaining a little bit more than others, but I think in terms of my stamina to make it all the way through, it's a lot better. I feel stronger, you know, and I can do push-ups on my toes now. I mean, who knew that was ever a possibility? So that's pretty amazing. The first session that we did a full body workout at the park, um, you know, I, it, it was a similar feeling to the first assessment, except it was longer and I felt the, the length of time. I was dying by the end of that workout. Um, 
you know? And uh, when I work out now, like I feel great and I feel that like instant endorphins, you know? It's like, yeah, let's do this, let's keep going. But I remember that first work workout, it was more like, when is this gonna be over? Like, how much longer is it torture? This challenge has really changed a lot in my life. Not only do I just feel better overall, but I feel like, you know, I'm more positive. You know, I, you know, the energy level and just being active and makes me, you know, I'm usually, I'm, I'm a proactive person, but like, I just feel like it's taken me up to another level with stuff, you know, I'm just more eager to get in there and do it, I guess. But yeah, I mean, the energy level is, I think, the most significant change, you know, whereas before, like, I just get home from work and I'm like, I'm done, you know, it's like sit on the couch, probably order some takeout <laughs> and not move for the rest of the night, you know, where it's just like, now it's like I get home and, you know, just get stuff done. The hardest part of this journey was making that initial switch and ma making sure I was accountable for it. You know, I mean, everyone resists change, you know, it's always like a kicking and screaming match when you know you have to change something, but, you know, making that conscious decision to change and every single time I would figure out what my meal is, you know, it's like, well, I can't do that and like making that conscious effort to, to do it and then also being accountable for my workouts and, you know, putting myself first, you should be putting yourself first, but like a lot of people don't do that until you know, you kind of get to a position where, oh gosh, I'm, you know, not in a good spot. So I really enjoyed trying all the different workouts during this process. It challenged me both physically and mentally. It also provided a new learning experience. It was really quite amazing to see when we did the workout at CrossFit. I was terrified, I'm not gonna lie, I really was. But when I got over that workout, I really was impressed that I managed to make it through. And you know, I guess there's something to the mind over matter, you just do it. And then it felt fantastic. Like I, I did a headstand, that was pretty amazing. I should have been a little bit more strict with my own workouts. I mean, I did it, but I probably could have done a better job. Throughout this process, I learned that there are several things that you can do to try to keep in shape. Like I don't have a gym membership, you know, and like just having the knowledge and the tools to be able to do your own workouts, having some dumbbells and some resistance bands. Our workouts has really been eye-opening for that. Like you don't really need a fancy gym membership. Of the different equipment, um, the workout equipment that we've worked out with and that I have. My favorite is the Pro Source Medicine Ball. And I also do like the resistance bands because they're so versatile, um, you know, and able to work different parts of the body. So my favorite workouts, um, I mean, they're all, they're all pretty, pretty great, but um, I did really enjoy going to Real Fitness when I did the tire slams. That was really fun. And then the the ropes, um, I forget what they're called, but those big ropes where you just like, yeah. I would definitely do the process again in a heartbeat. Um, I was in a when I started the process, I was in a position where, um, you know, I mean, it was exciting life changes and then also the reality of, you know, my family history with heart disease, you know, becoming more prominent. I knew I had to make a change. Um, and also being in this process or journey, you know, really, put my life under a microscope, microscope per se, you know. Um, I had to really look at the different aspects of my life that led me to being, you know, 20, 30 pounds overweight. So um, I feel healthier, I feel stronger, I feel more like the me that I'm supposed to be. I feel a lot better in my own skin, which uh, 
I think I, I was really struggling with when we first started the journey. So I just got off the scale and I did it. I am at 144.6 and the feeling is absolutely incredible. I was a little worried I wasn't gonna get here. I've been checking my weight every day and that number kept staying at 146, uh, but I just got off and I at one four, I'm at 144.6, so this feeling is absolutely incredible. I am so excited. Um, I get to marry the man of my dreams tomorrow. Um, and yeah, uh, I have no words. I'm just, ah, so um, here we go. I gotta get packing, I gotta get moving. We have our rehearsal dinner tonight and our rehearsal and um, yeah, lots to do. So just wanted to share that I got there. So thank you for supporting me all the way. I, I just, I'm so over the moon. This is amazing, amazing news. Woohoo! that I felt from everybody and it's just it's been a really amazing experience and I cannot thank you all enough like this has been amazing I would do it again in a heartbeat and you've done and an amazing job yeah I'm so proud of you yeah. I, yes. I did good, good job. I'm gonna keep, keep going though like doesn't good. end I here so. I've learned a not. lot of really really good uh, lifestyle changes and I am going to stick with it um, I feel great um, and yeah, it's amazing. It's been an amazing journey and thank you for staying tuned and thank you for ProSource and thank you Holly for pushing me when I was complaining, you know, <laughs> half the time, but uh, we got there. So we did, we did. Yeah. I'm very excited. Yay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. I look great. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, amazing. It's a little you know, I keep shimmying, but you know what? <laughs> it's better to be a little bit big than too small. But, you know. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And a huge congratulations to yeah. you and Dave. Yeah. Very happy for you. Thank you. you.